let's consider this box having volume V. When the deforming forces act on all the surfaces of this box, the body undergoes deformation. The forces are distributed uniformly on all the surfaces. Now this process of applying the forces to this box which act on certain areas is known as stress. So the volume stress in this case is equal to force per unit area. While in the case of liquid this is also force per unit area and is known as pressure. So the volume stress is force per unit area. Now when we apply the forces to this box, a change occurs in the volume. The initial volume is V1 while the final volume is V2. Now by taking ratio between the change in the volume and its original volume is known as strain is known as the volume strain. So the volume strain is equal to del V by V. Now in this case the volume of this shape decreases so we will take this change in the volume as negative. So the volume strain is equal to minus del V divided by V. Now by taking the ratio between the volume stress which we have previously calculated as force per unit area and the volume strain which is the change in the volume by original volume. Taking this ratio between the stress, the volume stress and the volume strain we will get the value of bulk modulus D is equal to Volume stress divided by volume strain is equal to F by A divided by minus del V by V. Now this F by A can be denoted as del P or pressure, change in pressure. So we have the value of bulk modulus D is equal to del P divided by minus del V by V and this is the equation for calculating bulk modulus. The negative sign is inserted because increase in pressure causes decrease in volume. The value of bulk modulus is always taken as positive. That's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe this video for more videos. Thank you.